Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to the Nichols Nook. In today's video, I will be doing a clean and undecorate with me for fall in order to start preparing for my Christmas decor. So yay, I'm so excited. Christmas and the holiday season is just my favorite. I absolutely love it and I'm so excited to start decorating for Christmas. As you saw last week, I did a fall bin declutter and organization. I'm very excited to start decorating for Christmas, but before I can do so, I need to undecorate and pack up all of my fall decor that I have in my house currently. Now this video is also going to be a clean with me because I just want everything nice and fresh before I start setting out my Christmas decorations. And honestly, I haven't really done a whole lot today. I did work out this morning and then I ran a couple of errands, but I haven't focused on the house at all. So I definitely need to go ahead and pick up some things around the house today. And then just again, make it feel nice and fresh before I get ready to decorate for the holidays. Now, if you're new here and you like these types of videos and you want to see more, definitely hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are notified when we post a new video. My husband, Chaz, and I also do family vlogs on this channel. And if you're new, you may not know, but my husband and I are expecting our little baby girl in March of 2019. So I have been documenting my pregnancy on this channel as well. So we have a lot of exciting things that are happening in our life right now, and we would love to have you on this journey with us. So again, if you want to be part of the Nook fam and join us on this adventure that we call life, go ahead and click that subscribe button. We would love to have you. So in this video, I will be taking all of the decor that I have set out for fall and I will be packing it away into the storage bins that I showed you guys in my declutter video. And then something else that I want to share with you is how I store my wreaths. So if you want to watch me clean and undecorate my house, then just keep watching. So I'm just starting by tidying up our bed. I just feel that making the bed makes the whole bedroom feel nice and clean. Next, I'm just using my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray to wipe down our nightstand. This one is in the peppermint scent and it's one of the three holiday scents that they have. It smells so good, you guys. I get all of my natural cleaning products shipped right to my door each month from Grove Collaborative. And if you are interested in checking out their new holiday scents, there is Iowa pine and orange clove as well as the peppermint. Then go ahead and check out the link down in the description box below. For new customers, you get a free five piece Mrs. Meyers set and that link is always in my description box. This glass cleaner is also from Grove and it is all natural. You just use the concentrate, pour it in the glass bottle and then fill the rest up with water to dilute it. Give it a little swirl and then you are good to go. Then of course, I love lighting candles in our house. I just feel like it makes it feel so warm and cozy, especially during this time of the year. Now we didn't have a lot of fall decor in our bedroom, but I'm just going to put all of my fall decorations onto the kitchen table. And then one of my favorite things about cleaning is seeing those fresh vacuum lines. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite part about a clean room is. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'm moving into the foyer, and you guys know I loved my little fox pillow. I was kind of sad to take him down, but I am excited to put out my Christmas decor. And then this is our entryway table. I kind of have a lot of stuff that was thrown on here, so I'm just kind of decluttering and moving again all of the fall decorations to the kitchen table. That way everything is in one place when I start to pack up my fall bins. So next I'm just moving into the living room and you'll notice that we actually have two vacuums. So I like to use this cordless vacuum on our couch and on our tile floors. It just seems to work really well on those two areas. But when it comes to carpets and rugs, I love using our corded vacuum. It just, it seems to have a much better suction when getting out all of the pet hair. And trust me, with Cheap in the house, we have a lot of dog hair lying around. <laughs> And of course, he loves having a nice clean house. And you'll notice that we did take our Christmas tree down because it wasn't decorated anyway. Chaz wanted to wait a couple more weeks, which is totally fine. I completely understand because we did put it up at the end of October, early November. But now that everyone is putting up their Christmas trees on YouTube, I am super excited to put ours back up. In the guest room, I only had one fall decoration and everything else was pretty much ready for guests. And then in the guest bathroom, I only had a few things as well. And then moving into the kitchen, I'm just starting by unloading the dishwasher. Typically I do this first thing in the morning, but I had a little bit of a different morning this morning, so I'm doing it now. And then as you can see, I have a full sink of dishes that I want to get done so that the kitchen is just nice and clean. And yes, I do scrub and rinse off all of my dishes before I load them into the dishwasher. I know that some people think that this is kind of double cleaning your dishes, but honestly, it is so worth it to me because I would much rather take the extra time to scrub off any caked on food before I put it into the dishwasher so that I feel like all of my dishes are actually clean when they come out. And I just don't like to see any remnants of food that the dishwasher may not get off. So I was always taught to rinse off my dishes before I load my dishwasher.
And then one of my other favorite parts about cleaning is cleaning out my sink. I love having a clean sink. It is just so satisfying to me. Let me know down in the comments if you love this as well. It just, uh, it just gives me all the feel goods. So our kitchen island is pretty much like our catch-all. It is so easy just to load stuff up on here every day. It gets so messy so quickly. So now I'm just taking the time to go through and put everything away that has accumulated on our kitchen island. And I wanted to show you guys this gorgeous flower crown that I bought off of Etsy. I bought this for our Christmas pictures that are coming up here in a couple of weeks. I just thought it was so beautiful. I couldn't pass it up. So you'll notice that that little scarecrow there that I have on my front porch has a snowman on the other side. I did make him and paint him by hand a couple of years ago in South Dakota. Chaz was the one who put all of the wood together for me. And so I can actually use him for two seasons for both fall and winter. So I'm going to actually keep him on my front porch for a little while longer until I decorate for Christmas. And then once we do put our Christmas decorations out on our front porch, I plan on just turning him around so that Mr. Snowman can face forward. So here are all of the fall decorations that I have pulled from around our house today and I just wanted them all in one place to make it easier as I was packing up my storage bins. So if you didn't see my declutter and organization video for fall and Halloween yet, definitely go check that video out. I kind of show you how I clean out my bins and get them ready to store things before I put them in the garage. Of course I want to wipe down all of my bins and make them nice and fresh before I put any more items in. So now I'm just going to go ahead and load these up.
Now I did mention this in my declutter and organization video, but any items that are small or loose, I like to store in Ziploc storage bags. That way they don't roll around and make a mess in my bins because I definitely have had that happen a time or two. It just makes it so easy to pull out the following year and have everything in one place. And I like to do the same with anything that contains glitter, just so that it doesn't make a big mess in my bins. Something else I like to do is store any kind of fragile objects or objects that can rub up against each other in grocery bags. So here I just have some grocery bags and I'm just wrapping up some little pumpkins and candle holders and things like that so they don't bump up against each other when we are moving the bins. So I barely fit everything into these two bins. I actually had to put a couple of items into my Halloween bin as some fall overflow. But before I show you where I store my wreaths, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my table because there is just a lot of stuff that was kind of left over from the wreaths and some glitter and things like that. So once I'm done with this, I'll show you guys how I store my wreaths throughout the year and that way it makes it just so nice and easy to find them when it is a new season or holiday. It feels so good to have everything nice and organized for next year. Everything is nice and clean. And I just use a simple coat rack that I bought from Walmart for my wreath storage. So as you can see, I just label them and I can kind of see which wreath is which just because these garbage bags are white. I found this hack on Pinterest and it is so convenient. You only need trash bags, hangers, zip ties, and a label maker if you want to label them. I would recommend getting some longer zip ties though. I have 11 inch zip ties, but longer ones would actually work better. So if you do decide to do this, definitely go with some longer zip ties. But basically you just take the zip tie, put it around the wreath, and then string your hanger through. You need a hole at the top of the garbage bag. Well, I guess it would be the bottom of the garbage bag in the middle because the garbage bag will be upside down. And then once your hanger is strung through the zip tie, you just put the top of the hanger through the hole and bring the garbage bag down around it. This will protect your wreath from any other wreaths or from them just rubbing up against each other, especially ones with the sticks or glitter. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that any wreaths with twigs on them are a little trickier to get into the garbage bags. So if you want, I would suggest maybe going up a size in garbage bags for these. These are just ones that I already had in my house. So it just takes a little bit of extra time and patience to get those twigs in nice and carefully, but it definitely is doable. 
And then the nice thing about these clothes racks too is that they can extend. So the more wreaths you have, the better. This one is just a small rack, but they do make them to where they come with two poles as well. So that if you have a lot of wreaths at your house, you can put some on the top and the bottom. I will link a couple of these clothing racks down below in the description box if you are interested, as well as my label maker. It is a lifesaver and it is the best invention ever. If you don't have a label maker already, check the link link in the description because you need one in your life. Woo! All right guys, so I'm finally done packing up all of my decor for fall and it feels so good. My house actually feels really bare right now and it's dark outside so it just doesn't feel very cozy. It almost sounds like it's echoing in here and yeah, I just think that being able to decorate for Christmas will kind of warm up our home and make it feel cozy and hopefully not as echoey. <laughs> so I'm super excited for that but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and if you wanna see more like it, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Again, don't forget to click that red subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.